Hi, this is Rich Formidoni from Korg USA. I'm coming to you deep from inside the secret Korg laboratory, which is inside uh, an active volcano in Long Island. And uh, today, what I'm going to show you is how to create your own combis on the M50. The M50 is actually capable of playing 16 sounds at once in combi mode, and you can have them layered, split, or velocity switched on the keys. So I'm going to show you how to set up a basic combi with a layer and a split. This also works for the M3, by the way, and the Triton. So if you have either of those two workstations, you're all set. Okay, so the first thing to do is jump over to combi mode and then select the D bank, which is full of initialized combis. So now we're looking at an initialized or empty combi. First thing to do is press page select. That's the button just below the dial on the right. Now, what we're going to do is set up the keyboard zones, set the MIDI channels all to MIDI channel 1 so we can play all the sounds from the keys, and then choose the sounds. So the first thing to do is create the zones. Touch zone slash delay. Now we're going to create three zones. The bottom half of the keyboard is going to be a bass, and the top half is going to be piano and strings. So we're going to work with three zones right here. Each one of these columns here is a different keyboard zone. Now, what we want to pay attention to is the top key and the bottom key of each zone. Now, the first one is going to be the bass part. So we can leave that bottom key all the way down at the bottom. What we want to do is limit the top key. And I'm going to put that on the uh, B just below middle C. So all you have to do is hold down the Enter button and press the key where you want the top key set. And it's good. So now that bottom zone goes up to that B and the keys above it aren't playing. Now, the second two zones, we're going to make exactly the same, and this is what's going to provide a layer. So what we need to do is specify the bottom key for each zone. Because the top key doesn't matter. That can be all the way up above the board. So uh, touch that bottom key field, hold down the Enter key, and press the key just above where you set the top key for the first zone. There you go. And now do the same thing for that third zone. Cool. So now we've got our zones all set up. The next thing to do is assign MIDI channels. Press that page select button again and go to timbre parameter. Now what we're looking at here are the different MIDI channels. This is really useful if you're using an arpeggiator and you only want the arpeggiator to control one of the sounds or if you're using an external MIDI device to control some of the sounds in a combi. But because we're using the keys, we're going to set all the MIDI channels in all three of these zones to 01G. So all you need to do is touch it, turn the dial counterclockwise to bring it to 01G. Do that for these first three zones. Now you're good. On the bottom half, we have one piano, and on the top half, we have two pianos. So the next step is to change the sounds. Push the exit button to bring us back to the main combi screen. Now for the first zone, I'm going to touch this button right here that says keyboard, and now I'm going to select a bass. So touch the bass category, bright acoustic bass, that'll be fine. All right, now the second zone we can keep as keyboard, that's our piano, but the third zone will turn into a string sound. So touch strings, and there we go. Touch OK. So now we've got our combi uh, pretty well constructed with sounds. Let's say we want to save it. We could just hit the record write button over in the sequencer controls, but we want to go a little deeper and tell it where we want it to be saved and give it a name. So the proper way to do that is to touch the drop down menu in the upper right hand corner and select write combination. Now from here, if you touch this little T, you can give it a name. So I'll just call it test. Okay. And then you can give it a category. So this one might be something like bass splits. Then you can give it a subcategory if you want, and then specify exactly where you want to put it. Now this is easy because you can just touch this and then press one of the bank buttons and type in a number and give it the exact address that you want to write over. Now we're going to keep it in the D bank, which is empty. Zero and touch OK. Are you sure? Yes. 
there you go. Now your combi is saved. So the next time you turn the keyboard off and on again, it'll be right where you left it. Okay, so now we've got the sounds in place, but it's still a little dry. So make sure you check out some of the other videos we'll be doing, uh, including the one that I'm going to do on effects routing. So you'll be able to apply some effects to combis and sequences. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.